Okay, we're up to pay Amit Aleph. Again, as we went Friday, we went ahead. We're trying to do today, finishing off today's daf and tomorrow's daf. And there's Hashem tomorrow. We're going to do ahead Monday's daf. So we'll be up to par on Tuesday night. We'll be able to go ahead and, and be caught up. So we're up to pay Amit Aleph. We're up to uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 lines in the bottom. And the, what we have to know is that the husband, if he has makes in the nichsemi loig, if he makes any expenditures, right? If once he eats from it, he can't collect. Once he eats from the nichsemi loig, he can't collect. If he if he didn't, then you'd be able to go ahead and collect the, depending on the amount. But again, once he eats, it's all over. So here you have the following shayli li boilahu, bal shahoyrid arisin tachtov. So the bal he goes ahead instead of him working the field. He hires a sharecropper for a certain percentage, and that sharecropper now goes down to the field. He works the field, and he eats from the like property. He put, he put, uh, he you know, he put the yitzias. He spent money expenditures in the field, and he ate from it. Mahu, I, what, what's what's the halacha? What's the halacha? Now, what's the shaila? What, what's the stud into the shaila? Adaite de bal nachis. When he went down, he went to the das of the bal. And he would be like the Baal. And therefore, it's Stalik la Baal, is Stalku Luhu. And he would leave. If the, the he would go down and, and he would leave. In other words, just if the Baal went down and ate from the field, after he put money into the field, the, the he would be not able to claim his expenditures. Who had been the Oris in place of the Baal would not go, be able to go ahead and claim expenditures. we say the Or maybe no. We don't view him as the shliach of the Baal, we view him as the person who's working in the field. And the land, it's always there, the land has to be worked. And therefore what? You would go ahead and get a percentage. Rashi says, look at the percentage. Mahu, where it gets wide, five lines down. He would get according, Rashi says, not the percentage, he would get according to the shvach. Usually a sharecropper gets a percentage of the crop. Here we're speaking about the shvach, how much the expenditures improve the quality of the field. It's mashma. In other words, he would get like, just like the Baal, it improves the quality and he doesn't eat anything. So this is what he would get. That's the shayla. So do we view him as in place of the Baal? And once in just as the Baal cannot, once he eats from the field, cannot claim anything, who had in the sharecropper? Or no, we view the sharecropper as a worker in the field. And just like a person who would improve the field would, would make a claim, would be able to get the, shvach, the, uh, the improvement of the field, so would he. Maskal Rav, yes, Rav. Maskal Rav, Hanan. Maishno, what's this different? Your Shaila, Mihayoyri, the Toychsod, the Chaveroi. Someone just goes down to a fence field. Vinata, Shalai Bishus. He plants Shalai Bishus. That the Gemara in Bab Metziah says, Shaiman Loi, we evaluate for him. Viyadayal Tachtaina. And he has the lower hand. The Gemara there describes exactly what it's mean by the lower hand. Whether how much he gets in the expenditures, we won't go into that. But so lechayra, it's not. It's why do we assume that this? Why don't we view this aris as going down into a strange, a stranger land? And just over there, he gets something over here also. And we don't, we don't have the side of just like the Baal, that Once he eats something, loses everything. This person also loses. Says so the no, it's not a good sushdel. Hasam leka inish tarach. Over there, when the when the person went out to another person's field, there was no one taking care of the field. But hacha ikabal the tarach. There's the bal that's tarach. So in other words, your tzushdel to the gemara in bab in fact, is not a, is not a, a good tzushdel. Over there in bab there was no one taking care of the field. Over here, if the oris would take care of the field, the bal would take care of the field. So therefore, it's not a good tzushdel. So the bottom line is my habiyala. What exactly is the answer to this question? Do we view him as the Baal and he gets nothing? Do we view him as the Oris and he would get the praise? So Amar Rab Huna Berei the Rab Yeshua Chazina. Let's look. E Baal Oris who, if the Baal himself is an Oris and this guy goes takes his place, is Stalik Labal is Stalik Lahu, right? Then what? Then the if the, the Baal leaves, the, if once the Baal would eat something. He would get nothing, so to this sharecropper. However, Ibal Lav or is who? Larisa Kaima. But if the Baal is not an artist, then they're going to require a sharecropper. This Rashi explains like this, guys, outside, guys, look at me. If the Baal is an artist, meaning the field can be taken care of, 
So when this guy goes down to the field to take care of it, and he goes to the woman for what? For money. She says, the woman says, I don't need you. My, my husband is a farmer. He would go ahead. He would take care of it without you. So you went down. You took care of the field. I, I, even if the husband told you to go down to the field, I don't care. Because the field will be taken care of. Masha'enkin, if the husband is, is, a, is, a, is not a farmer, and the field would go would suffer as a result, the artist is doing her a favor, and therefore he would get the shvach. So that's an answer to the question. So the answer is then, it depends. And the answer to your question, if the guy, if the Baal is a farmer, the sharecropper gets nothing. If the Baal, if, if the, if the Baal is not a farmer, then the sharecropper would get according to the improvements of the field. That, that's the answer to that shayla. Iboilu, another shayla. Baal Shemach HaKarka Leperis. Now we know the Nichsei Miloi, guys, that the, <clears throat> the person, he gets usage of the field, but he doesn't own the field. He owns the Peris. So now what does he do? He goes ahead and he sells the field to the Peris. Let's see the bottom Rashi, the last line. <clears throat> what did he do? Macha Le'acherim Karka Miloi. He sold him the rights for the produce. Sheyase Le'keach V'yoychel Peris. Right, that he should go ahead and eat the payers. In other words, Rashi's pointing out he didn't sell him the land itself. He doesn't own the land. The woman owns the land. There's no half a meter that he can go ahead right, and sell him the land. What exactly he's doing is he's selling him the produce. So question: Can he sell it? In other words, can he sell it? The rights that he has in the land can the can the can the husband sell those rights? Can he go ahead and sell them? What's the shaila? Me amina. Do we say? My dekani acne, whatever he acquired, he is he is bequeathing, he's giving over. Idilma, he to kinole rabon and peris on the days, libal, right? The takana of the chachamim of nichse miloi wasn't something that is his property to sell, it was uniquely given to him. And therefore, since it was uniquely given to him and only him, he won't be able to sell it. And therefore, why would he give this? Mishum Rabcha Besa, that there should be in the house, there should be food, there should be Paris available in the house. So that's the two sudden to the Shaila. It's, it's the Yisoyed to Kashaila. It's Yisoyed to Kashaila in exactly what the Nichsemi Ligar. All the Nichsemi Lig is something that he owns outright, and therefore he can do anything he wants with it. Or no, it's his, solely his, and only his, and nothing can be done with it. The Svara being that they gave it to him to have produce in the house. If he's going to go ahead and sell it, you want to have produce in the house. But not. So let's let's see the the end for the Gemara to answer the Shaila or to clarify the Shaila. Yehuda Mar Bar Merema Mishmei the Rava Amar. Yehuda Mar Bar Merema says the name of Rava. Masha Asli Asli. If he sells, it's a good sale. Masha Asli Asli. If he sells, it's a good sale. Rav Papi Amar. Rav Papi is of the opinion Mishmei the Rava. Layasav Laklum. It's not a good sale. So you have Machloikis between Rabbi Yehuda, Mar Bar Yumi, and Rabbi Papi in the name of Rabbi. They both argue with what Rabbi said. Again, Rabbi Yehuda, Mar Bar is saying the name of Rabbi, it's a good sale. Rabbi Papi is saying the Rabbi, it's not a good sale. So Lachari, what? What do you? They didn't hear correctly from Rabbi. The Gemara fears us. I'm Rabbi Papa. Heard the Yehuda, Mar Bar that said it's not. It's 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 a good sale. Love befeirish it, Mar. He did not go here and hear Rabbi said it. Ela mechlole it, Mar. He inferred it from a pesak of Rabbi. And I guess he inferred it incorrectly. The correct psak is Rav Papi's psak that what? That you didn't do anything. Rav, Rav Yehuda bar Minyumi, he, he made a mistake based upon the following case. What is the case? Da'i Issa said there was this woman. The Aile Le Legavra Tarti Amasa. The, the, she brought into the, the Gavra, she brought into the marriage to her husband, two slaves. She had two maids, two slaves she brought into the marriage. That's Nichsemi Loik. So the husband now has the rights to the slaves, whatever they, the work they do. Ozil Gavra Nasib is Sahrita. This guy married his second wife, and Ayalah Chadaminayu. And he went and he gave one of these slaves from his first wife, he gave to the second wife. So this would be tantamount to what? Selling your Nichsemi Laik, right? This would be equal to selling your Nichsemi Laik. The Nichsemi Laik was the slave. Instead of selling it, he gave it as a present to his second wife. So Asla Kamei de Rava, Savcha, and the first wife came screaming to Rava, and I can't read, Lay Ashkechba. Now, he didn't listen to her. Now, Man de Chaza Savar, what's the reason Rava didn't listen to her? Mishum de Sava Masha Asa Asli. And that was the mistake that Rabbi Yehuda Mar Bar Merema made. 
saying that since Rava did not listen, it must be the sale, in this case, the matana of the slave was a good sale, right? It was a good gift. And therefore, that's why Paskin, if a person would sell, it would be okay. However, that's not the correct interpretation of Rava's actions. Mishum Ravcha Besa, the reason they gave what? The Menich Seimiloik to the husband is to ensure that the house is in good shape financially. And Vahok Ravcha, the house was still in a good shape financially, despite the fact that what? That the slave was in the hands of the other woman, still they all live in the same house. So there was no really big loss. The Mela, that was the mistake that Rabbi Yehuda, Barma, and Yume made, Merema made by inferring that what? That Rabbi would hold it's a good sale. But in Nachnami, Rapapi said it's not. The Hilcha said, "What's the halacha? Baal shemoich a karkel a peiris leyos of leklum like Rapapi, a baal who went ahead and sell peiris. He didn't do anything. It's not his to sell. It's given to him for the purpose of having produce in the house, but it's not his to sell." My time. What's the reason? What's the reason it's not good sale? Abaya Omar Hashinon shemetachsif. Guys, you get a field from a guy. You have, you have no, all you have in the field is the rights to the payers. This guy at any time can go back and claim the field. You're going to run the field into the ground because you all you want is the maximum amount of produce. So you're not going to take care of the field. Therefore, we've said the husband cannot sell it because we're worried that, that, that the guy he sells it to is going to run into the ground. That's one shot. That's a bias shot. Rava Ama, Rava says, Mishum Rav Chabesa, because you want to have more produce in the house. You want to have the house in better financial shape. And therefore, you can't sell it. So, Machlaik is a buyer of Rava. The reason why a person can't sell is this same Eloi. According to Abaya, because of the guy's going to run into the ground. According to Rava, because of why? Because of you want produce in the house. Now, my Binaya, what's the Nafkamina between Abaya and Rava based upon their interpretation? So, the Gemara gives three, three, three Nafkaminas. It could be Nayu. It could be Nayu, Ara did Makar Lamasa. If you have a piece of land that's close to the city. So, if it's close to the city, the Baal can keep an eye on it, and you don't have to worry about what? About it being run into the ground. So according to this, Rava, it's not a good sale. According to Abaya, it would be a good sale, because since it's close to the city, you don't have to be run into the ground. So Abaya's reason doesn't apply. But Rava's reason would apply, because again, no matter where it is, you, you have less produce in the house. Second, Afkamini Nami, Baal Orisu. The Baal is the Oris. He's going ahead, and what is he doing? He's providing the purchaser, the guy who bought it with food. But since he's on the he's the Aris and he's on his own field, his wife's field, he's going to take care of it. Again, a bias svara of that running into the ground doesn't apply. Rav is svara of not having ample food for the house would. Finally, an afkamina that Rav would disagree with. Inami zuzi v'ka'avid be iska. You go ahead. The guy gets money for the field. He takes that money now. He goes and gets involved in business. He's now providing food for his house. So according to Rav, it would be a good sale. He's providing good food for the house. According to Bayer, it would not be a good sale because you're still worried about the guy running it into the ground. So three nafkaminas between a Bayer and a Rava. Okay, um, we until now we're, we're dealing with nichsei milayik of a, of a, a marriage. We have dealt in nichsei milayik machloikas Bayer and Rava by Arisin by Nesuin. There was no machloikas. They both said you can sell it. What about a shemeris yavam? What about a woman whose husband dies? She now has fields. What's the, the loch of a yavam vis-a-vis the nichsim iloig? That's the discussion of this Mishnah. Right? The nichsim iloig of the yavam in, in this field. Says the Mishnah. Shemeris yavam shenaflu nechasim. A girl whose now husband died. She has nechasim. And now, so you have a relationship between the yavama and the yavam. What rights does the yavam have in the field? Can he sell the field? Can she sell the field? So, moide beishamei beishilel. That you can sell it and or give it away as a present. And whatever she do, she does, it's, it works. It's fine. In other words, this is similar to, to a field that fell to her before Arison. We said everyone agreed if it fell to her the field before Arison, that even after Arison, if she would go ahead and sell it or give it away, she could do it. Correct? That was her schus. So to over here, the same Allah would apply. It fell to him and she was Shemeris Yavam before she was the, the Yavam, even though there's a Zika, they felt that there's a, they're not married yet. Whatever she does, she does. Now, what about this? Mesa, she dies. Mayasu, now, what do you do? And we have Biksuvasa. What do you do, Biksu? Okay, I, I should really give you a little hot dharma here. 
I, I should have done it before. I'll give it, I'll do, I'll do it now. Uh, different parts of the Ksuba we're familiar with. Let's go over it. Ikka Ksuba, 200 for a Basula, 100 for an Amana. Tosefis Ksuba, whatever she adds. Nedunya, the dowry that's written in the Ksuba. Uh, usually what we refer to as a land written in the Ksuba that she's guaranteed that the husband uses it and when he gives it back, it's, he's ensured she's, she's going to get back exactly what she gave. A field worth 10,000, she's going to get back 10,000. That's called Nixay Tsoin Barzel. It's like Barzel. It's like iron is guaranteed. And the Nixay Miloig, where it's not so guaranteed. The guy, the husband is going to go ahead and get the Paris and she gets the field. So those are the different things. So now, so you have over here, you have, you have, uh, she dies. What do you do with the Ksubasa? That's the Nixay Tsoin Barzel. That's the nixay miloig. Beishamay yoyimim. Beishamay says yechloiku yarshei abalim yarshei ab. This is only going on the nixay miloig. Rashi says it's not going on the ikar ksuba. It's only going on the nixay miloig. On the nixay miloig, you're going to go ahead and divide it between uh, har yarshim. That's called the yarshei ab and the yarshei habal and the and the yarshim of a dead husband. Or beisel oyimim. Beisel says nechasim beches kasan. The nechasim are in their in their chazaka. Rashi learns nechasim beches kasan is going on the son barzel, right? The kasuba beches kas yarshe abal, and the kasuba and the kasuba the kasuba that the kasuba part that goes on what on the beches kas yarshe abal that would go to the bal, and the chasim and the nechasim yaitzim meima and the nechsei miloig. That's Becheskas Yorshaya Av. Let's go one more time. So the we have Beishamai Shita is you're going to divide the Nikhse Milaig. And Beis Hill divides it up into three categories. He divides it up, Beis Hill divides it up into three categories. The first one, Nikhnasim, the the uh, uh, the the what was the Lushan? Nikh. Nichasim Bicheskasan, Rashi says that's the Nichse Tsoin Barzel, and it's Machloikis in in Baba Basra, that Kufnun Chesam Ibeis, who gets it. Uksuba Bicheskas Yarshe Habal, the Ikka Ksuba would go to the Baal, the 200, and the Taisefis Ksuba would go to the husband. In the Chasm, we had Nichse Milai Yarshe Av would go to her. her. So, okay, so again, according to Beishamai says, divide Nixay Milaig. Nixay, according to, according to, uh, according to Beis Hillel, and Beishamai would agree, the Nixay Tsoim Barzel goes to the Yarshay, the Machloikas Wuda goes to, the Ikka Ksuba goes to the Yarshay Abal, and the, and the Tsoim Barzel goes to, uh, excuse me, the Milaig goes to, goes to the Yarshay ha, Ha'av. It goes to the Yarshim of, of Har. Now, Haniach Achiv Mois. Let's say that his the dead brother left him money, left him metaltalin. Now metaltalin is not shabbat to the ksuba, correct? That's that's very important, right? And it's not so. Why, why do we why do we do in the previous mishnah when the girl and her metaltalin guys? We bought karka. We, again, what were we worried about? We were worried about it getting used up, and she wouldn't have anything. So what would you do? You'd buy karka. The husband would get the payers, and she would have the principal of the karka. So that's what we did in the last mishnah, and that's what we're going to do here as well. So if the brother left th this girl money, karka, she should purchase with her karka, and the yavam would eat the peris. Peris hatlushin, mina karka, that's the same thing as money, you know, not metaltalin, peris that are loose. Yilokim hen karka, peris, right, and you would eat peris. Hamachubarim bekarka, what about if they're attached to the ground? Amr um, Meir, Meir says it belongs to her. Since it grew in her rishus, it belongs to her. And therefore, what do you do? So Shom and I saw you come in Yafin the Paris, or come in Yafin below Paris, how much the ground is worth with Paris, how much without Paris. The diff that difference, you lock them in Karka, you go ahead, you sell Karka, and you buy Paris. Let's see Rashi on that point, guys. What Rameya holds. Says Rameya, Shom and I saw, right before he, get the, uh, before he gets wide, but four lines up. The Kasava, Komasha Gidl Bishus Hames, Achroy Lakhsuba. Anything that grew up in the Rishus of the dead person is Achroy to pay the Ksuba. Now, once it's Achroy to pay a Ksuba, so we want we want to guarantee it should be there. So the way to guarantee it being there is to buy land. 
again, if you leave it in the form of a talpalim, you all know that it gets used up right away. Over time, it gets used up. So to ensure that it'll be around, we go ahead, we purchase karka, and then we and, and then the yavam would get the paris. So this is this is the shita of of the of Ramea, and the chachamim are going to argue right away. Says says the chachamim, the chachamim oimrim, and the chachamim uh, say paris hamuchubarim bekarka shaloi. They belong to the. You don't have to sell them and buy karka. They belong to the yavam. Hatlushin that you said tolushin rebmeya that you sell and buy karka. Hatlushin in a karka and also guys and also kesef. They would argue on money also that metaltalin is not mishubed to the ksuba. Metaltalin is not mishubed to the ksuba, and therefore it's it's available. So what's the halacha? Kol akoydim zacha behen. Anyone who gets it first, it would be theirs. Koydim who, if the yavam gets the money or the Paris tolushin, the loose fruit, zacha he gets it. Kodma he, if she would get it, then it's hers. And what do we do with it to ensure that it'll be around? Then you lachik men karka buhoichel Paris. So you have machloikis between Reb Meir and the Chachamim vis a vis kesef and loose metabolin. Reb Meir holds that kesef and loose metabolin, such as Paris, are meshubit and ksuba. Thus, it belongs to her. And therefore, you go ahead and you sell it and buy karka. Reb the Chachamim of the opinion the only thing that's meshubit to pay the ksuba is karka. Any metabolin is not meshubit to pay the ksuba. Thus, whoever gets it, gets it. And if he gets it, it's his. If she gets it, then she should sell it, eat and keep the karen for herself, and he would eat the paris. That's the machloikis between the chacham and Reb Meir. Kansa, once they're fully, fully married, the Gemara will explain this. Kansa, Hari As we saw in the Sech, the Ksubis, that the one who marries her is not mechuyif to pay a ksuba. The ksuba is meshubidi from the, the first husband. We said they made a takana. If they didn't have, then he should pay it. But that's that's the that's the halacha. That's a, a yivamis din. Now lo yoymelah, he shouldn't tell her the following. Havi ksuba ksuba seich munechas ala sholchan. He shouldn't take a, a property, put it on the table, and say, "Listen, this is yours." And this, this is yours for the ksuba, and I'll I could do whatever I want with the rest of the property. All the property is meshubat to the ksuba. You can't go ahead with and pass the buck. A person should not tell his wife. Good. Gersha, if he divorces her, if he divorces her. All she has, what is the ksuba. It's called going to Yavama. If he, he divorces the Yavama after he married her, Engle el ksuba, she doesn't only has the ksuba, but the whole man that they're not divorced, then all the nechassim are meshubin and he can't sell it. Again, that's the key. Before he, before he divorces her, all the nechassim are meshubin to pay the ksuba. Once he divorces her, then he pays the ksuba and he, he's a free man. What about he takes her back? She takes it back. She is like all women that we learned that um, someone who, who divorces his wife takes it back. He goes and takes it back on the original ksuba, and therefore he can do whatever he wants with the property. Okay. She dies. Who buries her? Who buries her? Now, in this case, we know from our Mishnah, the reason it's a Shaila is because there are two Yarshim over here. We have the Yarshe Habal inheriting the Ksuba and, and, and the, the, the Ksuba. And we have the Yarshe Ha'av, meaning her Yarshim, the father, inheriting her Nechse Miloik. Question, who buries her? That's the Shaila. Iboilu, Shemer Siyavim Shemesa, Mi Kaivra, Yarshe Habal Kavrulei, the Kayarsi Ksuba. Is it the Yarshe Habal who marry who? Who bury her because they wad inherited ksuba? Because they inherit the at the nifsemi like. That's the shaila. So Amr of Amram, Toshma, the Tanya, Shemeris Yavam Amen Aleph, Shemesa, the Shemeris Yavam that dies, Yershecha, Yershik Suvasa, 
Hayavim Bikfurasa. Har Yarshim, the Yarshay Ksuba, Achai Bikfurasa. Now, who inherits the Ksuba? The Yarshay Abal. So the Baal, the Yarshay Abal, I'm going to bury her. Amr Abaya, Afana Nami Tnina, we even have a Brysa that substantiates this. Almona ni Zainis, I don't know it's a Mishnah, Almona ni Zainis, Menichse Yusaimim. Almona, she gets supported from the estate, right? And Almona, whose husband dies in the Tanai Ksuba, she, as long as she doesn't collect the Ksuba, she's supported from the estate. And any working that she does belongs to the estate. Again, we learned this previously. The ain't chayt now. Now, the next, the ain't chayyov and bikfura sa, and they are not chayyiv to bury her. They, they are not chayyiv to bury her. Who is? Your sheha yoshek kusubasa chayyim bikfura sa. Now, as soon as you said your sheha, guys, we know it's not speaking about a woman who lost her husband and has kids. Because then there's only one set of Yarshim. So when it says they're not chayiv to bury her, but the Yarshim are chayiv to bury her, I believe we must be speaking about a second party. Again, in the traditional case, the Almana is being supported from the estate. There's only one game in town. There's her children who are having an estate from her dead husband. She's being supported from the estate based upon the Tanakh Suba, as long as she doesn't collect the Suba. Easy enough. We have a statement over here saying, listen to the statement, that if she gets she gets supported from the estate, whatever she makes goes to the estate, and her Yarshim don't have to bury her. Who has to bury her? Yarsheha, meaning the people of the estate don't, but Yarsheha do. Now, obviously, you have dual Yarshim over here. So says the Gemara, who is the Almana that has two Yarshim? Obviously, there's two people, two, two people involved there. And who we said buries her? Yarshe Abal bury her. So you see that that says a baya afanamitanina to the din that you were push it that Rav Amram said. Rav Amram said that the not the Yarshe Habal uh Av bury her, but the Yarshe Bal bury her. We have a uh, we have a, a, a tanoic source going ahead and substantiating it. Now we're gonna have Rava attacking that source. Okay, we're gonna have Rava attacking the source now. Yarshe Abal, what, who is this going? Who's Yarshe Abal? L'chayra, it's her, it's, it's her brother. You know, the, in other words, who's inheriting the Ksuba? The brother, the Har Yavam, right? And we have two parties to play over here. She's dead. She fell to Yibam. And who, who's the onus of burial upon to pay for the burial? On the Yavam. That's the Yarshe Abal. You know, is that the Yarshe of a dead husband? Good? Guys, let me have the players over here. Yarshe Abal have to bury her. Who's Yarshe Abal? In other words, that's the Yavam. The Yavam is the Yarshe Abal. He has to bury her. Now, why does he have to bury her? Because L'chaira, he inherited the Ksuba. L'chaira, of course, he got the Ksuba. Now, who did he get the Ksuba from? From her. So therefore, he has to bury her. Because we said burial goes based upon the Ksuba. With that background, let's see. Amarav, one second. V'leima ach ani, Yairish, you know what? I didn't get this ksuba from her. I got the ksuba from my brother. Let's see what Rashi says. How does Rashi explain this? Four lines down. Achani Yairish, Kisuba Zu Shani Yairish, ain't come in the dunya of the This is not from the dunya of the Nichse Tsein Basel Klum. Elamasayim Metaisefes. This is the 200 and any additional money that he shikas of law, achi. The ain't any Yorish I saw, el achi. I'm not inheriting her. I'm not inheriting her kasuba. I'm inheriting my brother's rights in the kasuba. So if I'm inheriting my brother, I own her nothing. If I'm inheriting my brother, I owe her nothing. That's that's what he wants to say. That's his taina. Now, by a counterattack, says Amalei Abai, one second. Mishum, all right? Says Abaya says Mishum de Boyin Allah Mishnei Tzadim. She attacks him from two sides. Miman of Shach, you have to bury. Miman of Shach, you have to bury. Right? What What does that mean? Im Achiv Yairish, if you inherited your brother and not not her, right? Therefore, you should bury her. Why? 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 Because your brother would have had to bury her. If you inherited your brother, your brother would have had to bury her. So therefore, you have to bury her. And if you don't want to bury her, because you say you don't, because you didn't inherit a ksuba, then go ahead and pay the 200 to her relatives. What's your taina? 
You didn't, you didn't collect it. You collected it from from your brother. One second. If you're taking the pace of your brother, your brother was required to bury her. You should be required to bury her. And why are you going to tie up? You don't want the ksuba. So give the ksuba, pay the 200 that you had got, pay to her craven. So my mother shach says, Abaya, I don't understand this taina that you, that, that you rather want to say why he shouldn't have to bury her. So we have Rav Amram's din. We have a brysa that substantiates Amram's din that the Yavim has to bury her. Rav wants a taina. One second. He didn't inherit her. He inherited the brother. Says Abaya, I don't understand. Either way, if he inherited him and takes the place of the brother, just like the brother had to bury her, he has to bury her. And if he and if he doesn't want to bury her, then take the ksuba that he inherited and give it to her yarshim. So therefore, lechayra, I don't understand why what what your time is, rubber. So I'm a lay rubber. Says the by no, hachi kamina. You don't understand me. This is what I. This is what my kavana was. Och ani yorish. I inherited my brother and not my wife. Therefore, as ishtoi ain ani cover his wife. I'm not burying. Why are you going to tie up? Vimishun ksuba, right? And you're going to say, because what? I was Yorish to 200 in the Ksuba. One second. Right? The Ksuba is not, what? Is, is not to be collected when he's alive. When the brother is alive, it won't be connected. In other words, when does a woman collect the Ksuba? Only after the death of her husband. I'm in the place of my brother. It's as if my brother didn't die. So it's, it's not it's like shot. She got a kasuba and I inherited the kasuba from her. The kasuba went directly from my brother to me. It's like my brother never died. And if the brother never died, ain't Isha Gaiveris Kasuba Bechayim, she doesn't collect it. That's my reason to say that why well, that I don't have to bury her. Again, a little more finite now. It's not shot that my brother inherited Ksuba and you want to tie in a well, since my brother had to bury her, I had to bury her. That's not what happened over here. What happened is. There never was a ksuba to be collected because I just took the place of my brother. And just as like my brother was alive, she would not get a ksuba. Now she's not getting a ksuba at all. So since there's no involvement of a ksuba, there's no reason for me to bury her. Again, what's the difference between what Abaya thought and what we're saying now? Abaya thought there was a ksuba and the question was who he inherited from, from him or from her. And he's saying now, no, there was no ksuba to be collected. It was never collected. Why? Because of, the brother never died. Well, I he did die. I took his place. So that's that's the time that that rebbe wants to say. When the when the husband's alive, therefore, as long as the husband's alive, there's no ksuba. I'm taking the place of my brother. So now, listen to this lumdus, guys. Listen to this lumdus outside. We're going to see in a second in Rashi. Where do we know this din that you don't collect the ksuba in? If the, if the husband's alive, it's from the Lushen of the Ksuba. If you might remember earlier in the Masechta, we learned how Lach is from the Lushen of the Ksuba. Ksuba is from Dichrin, you know, different. To look. So in the Ksuba, it states that you get it only when you get married to somebody else. That's what it says. You get this only when you marry somebody else. Good? Now, who wrote the Lushen of the Ksuba that we pass in like? It's Beishamai. Beishamai holds a star that is standing to be collected is as if it's collected. So who is standing to collect this ksuba? Who? She is, right? So the same way you know that you only collect the ksuba when she marries somebody else, when she leaves her first husband, that same person tells you, guess what? Even if she didn't collect it, it's as if it was collected. And therefore, I'm, I'm, therefore the a bias question goes back to Rava, in fact, he should have to bury her because as if what the wife did collect the ksuba, and therefore, since she collected the ksuba, you inherited it, and therefore, whoever got the ksuba would have to bury her. So that's the steps over here. It's a bit a big lumbus over here. Okay. Now let's look at Rashi in a second. Before we see the Gemara, look at Rashi. Rashi, the Rashi that says, Man Sham Man the Islay Midrash uh Medris Ksuba. Who says you darsh in a ksuba? Says Rashi, should doirish lush in a ksuba, shekosiba. Why does, it, why does it say in the Ksuba, guys? When I marry someone else, that I will take what's written from you. Good. That, so that's what it says. Now, who darshan is that? So beautiful. Let's see the Gemara's Kasha now. Again, what's the, what are we doing now? A bias substantiating why he should have to bury her. Why? Because he collects the Ksuba. 
I, whoever wants a tiny, takes the place of the brother, and there never was a collection of ksuba, says Abaye, that's not correct. Let's see it inside the Gemara. We're set up. Man shamile the islahu medrash ksuba. Where do we hear that what there is there to, to go ahead and dash the ksuba? Beishamai, it's Beishamai. Beishamina lay the Beishamai. We also heard from Beishamai. The Amar, Shtaro Oymid Ligvois, a star that's standing and collected, Kigabri Dami will view as collected. So we're going to view this as if the woman collected it. Where do you see, where do you know a star show of a Ligvois Kigabri Dami? Did none. Mesu Baalehem. We're speaking about Isha Saitis, women who are, were, were, were warned not to be behind clothes with men. They stay behind doors with men for the time it would take to go ahead and have a, a, a illicit a relation. In that case, they have to drink the Meimarim. Now, they drink the Meimarim. Let's say if the husband dies before they got a chance to drink. They collect the Ksuba of Leishaisis and they don't drink. I says, I like nightless ksuba. They either drink or they, they get or, or they don't get the ksuba. Says the Mari Shai says, how can they possibly drink if the husband's not around? One of the one of the protocols in Saita is behavior ish es ishtai el akayin. The man brings the wife to the kayin. So clearly, if he's dead, he can't bring it to the kayin. So how can Basil say either drink or, or don't collect ksuba? Amrachman of Aleka, there's no man around. Ella, you know what Basil meant? Mitai Shalai Shai says, since she can't drink, Late nightless ksuba, she doesn't take a ksuba. Okay, but that again, for one time in the Gemara, guys, we're not interested in what Basil says right now. We're just explaining that why he doesn't collect the ksuba, why she doesn't, you don't get ksuba because she can't drink. Why did Basil Beishamai say, you do, you do drink, right? Beishamai says, you drink. Nothing like the sound of a sukkah being put up, not by myself, says the Gemara. Okay, Ella, what do you have to say? Now, the Amai, Sveikahu, she's a suffix. Suffix Zanoi, suffix Lai Zanoi. It's a suffix whether she did have, 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 have was Mizana or she wasn't Mizana. But there's a Vadai over here. Vadai is that the Yarshim get collect the Ksuba. The Vadai, he's Moirish to his sons, his Yarshim or his brothers, whoever it is, that they get a Ksuba. Now, one second. We are, when guys, suffering in the Vadai, where do you go after? You go after a Vadai, correct? Ain't suffering much in the Vadai. So the question of Beishama is, why are she collecting the Kasuba? If the rule, it's a suffix whether she did or she didn't, it's a Vadai that, 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 the, that they inherit. Because he's suffering much in the Vadai, so Kasavi Beishama, Shtar or Oymid Lig voice is Kigavi Domri. A Shtar that is standing to be collected is considered collected. So all we bought this. This Isha Saita in, we all bought for one purpose. To sow a star that's standing to be collected is collected. Now, let's go back. Let's go back to the paper trail, guys. Let's go back to the beginning. What's, a, what's our paper trail over here? Um, we want to know uh, if who has to bury? Who has to bury? And Babaya said, the Yorshe Habal, the Yob has to bury. Abai, uh, Rob had a taina. Why does he have to bury? After all, he could say, I inherited my, my brother. Says the Gemara Manu Shech, if you inherit a brother, you have to bury. Just like your brother had to bury, bury. And if you, if you don't want to bury her, then give the ksuba to the Yarshim of the woman. Says the Gemara, Rabbi said, no, no, no. You don't understand what I meant. I meant that she doesn't collect, the, there is no ksuba. In other words, in lieu of the ksuba, you got a burial. There's no ksuba. You know why? Because you only collect the ksuba from the Lush of the ksuba when she marries somebody else. There's nobody else. The, she didn't get married. The husband's still around. Why is the husband still around? Because I'm around, right? I'm around. Uh, that's Rava's taina. A buyer now goes ahead and breaks Rava. That taina that you say that a woman can't, can't collect a ksuba when she's alive, when the husband's alive, is based upon the darshning, the lushan of the ksuba. Who darshins the lushan of the ksuba? Beis Shammai. Good? The same Beis Shammai who says you can't get married says that the ksuba is collected. The right, the same way Shammai says the ksuba is collected because Shtaro also the voices can go with me. So it's as if what it's collected. So in Mele, if it's collected, then he has to bury her. So that's where we're holding right now. He has to bury her. Good. Now, the Gemara now will just ask a question. Fred the Gemara Akasha. Fred the Gemara Akasha. So you're telling me this now. She never got married to somebody else. So how could she go ahead and collect the ksuba according to Beishamai? 
the fact that there's a Yavam, it's considered as if what? There's another, another husband, right? In other words, she has to marry this guy. So therefore, since she has to marry this guy, it's considered what? It's collected. Okay, now, the Gemara is going to go back to the conversation that took place between Beis Shammai and, and uh, to Be Abayah Barava. Right now, guys, Abayah Abay is winning, correct? Right now, Abaya has the winning claim. If we'd have to stop right now, what's the winning claim? Therefore, it is Ksuba. Therefore, he gets the, he has the Ksuba, and therefore, he has the Ksuba, he has to bury her. That's what we're holding right now. Now, says the Gemara, Shall play Rav or Abaya? Rav now he has another Kasha to Abaya on his terrace. It's, and he sent it in the hands, Biyad Rav Shemaya Bar Zera. Umi nit Ksuba Ligvais Mechayim. Can the ksuba be collected while it's alive? You know, you're saying it's collected, and therefore you have to bury. But Tanya, Rav Abba Omar, Sha'alti es sumchis. I asked sumchis the following question: Haroisa sheyimcha benichsei achiv. If someone wants to sell the his dead brother's property, now again, as we said in the Mishnah, the dead brother's property is meshubit to the ksuba, guys. So therefore, he's not able to sell it. The yavam inherits a big estate, let's say, from his dead brother. He he wants to go ahead and sell it. He can't sell it because all that property is meshubit to pay off the ksuba of the of the, of the yavama. Okay, so now he wants to sell it. Is there a workaround? Is there a, is there a legal means of going ahead and selling this ksuba despite the 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 property of the yavam of the yavama where it sits in meshubit ksuba? So what do you do? So what should he do? If he's a koye that's not able to divorce her and marry her. So Yasa Suda, he should make a party. The Yafaya says that she should be, be, you know, go ahead and be, make a party that she should be mask him to go ahead and allow a, allow a sale. However, the Im Yisrael who, if he is a Yisrael, if the Yavam is a Yisrael, and he's able to divorce her and marry her, what should he do? Go ahead, divorce her, get, give her a get. She then gets the kasuba, and then he's able to sell the property because he because the again the property is meshuba to pay the kasuba, and she collected the kasuba and the axer, and then afterwards what he's able to go ahead and marry her on the base. The east al and if you're going to taina, nos the kasuba lig vice mechayim, right? You're able to go ahead and collect the kasuba lechayim. You're telling me that you could collect it. Why do you have to go to such a severe degree to go ahead and divorce her to collect to be able to sell? Why not go ahead, put her aside for the ksuba, Bashar Lisbon, and all the rest you could sell? That's the kasha. The ka you want you again, you will buy a kaina that is that you can collect the su the ksuba, therefore you can collect the mechayim. If that's the case, why by a case of a Yavam who wants to sell the property that we had to go through this whole a whole member all of that of going ahead, getting divorced. Giving ksuba, selling, just go ahead. You can collect the mechayim, take it, set it aside, boom, there you go. I put aside the money for the ksuba, let you collect that, and I'll make the sale. Ella must be, I don't have the option of doing that. That's why we had to go to this whole, uh, whole uh, uh, rigmarole of going ahead and getting divorced and, and, and collecting the ksuba. That's the kasha that Rabbi asked the buyer. Ula taimech, Abaya asked the kasha. I've got to I gotta, gotta finish. Ula taimech, the loisve mas nisan. Why are you asking from this case in Yavamis? Why don't you ask my Mishnah? What does the Mishnah say? You, I'll, I'll you, you can't say, here, your, your ksuba is on the table, take it. Why? So, why don't you ask from there? In other words, why do you bother asking from here? Why don't you ask from there? But what do you have to say? The answer is, Hasam eats a taiva kamash balan. You tell me a good piece of advice. In other words, if you're putting metalzlon for ksuba, what's going to happen? It won't be around anymore. So you give me a piece of advice that you can't sell it. Don't keep keep the lien, keep property intact. Property is always around. Don't go ahead and fool around with metalzlon, which is not around. So maybe that's the reason they said that. Why you should get go through this rigmarole because it's an eitz taiva, Says the Gemara. When it's your wife, not, not your Vama, then you, obviously, of course you could sell it. Okay? So, a bias held serve. You could collect it. The reason why you went through this is only an Eitzah Taiva, 
and Mimela, the who would have to pay for the burial? Who would have to pay for the burial? It would be the it would be the husband. The husband would have to pay for the burial. And you can't say that he didn't collect the ksuba, that there's no ksuba. In fact, the ksuba was collected. And any question that Rava posed to Abaya has been answered. Any question that Rava posed to Abaya has been answered. Now, the question is, so why did Rava do this? It's eight to five. Why did Rava say uh, he has Sunkas? And Sunka said, So the question is, Rababa, who's, who asked, if you if the kasuba can be collected mechayim, why can't it go ahead and be miyached uh, uh, miyached on on the table and sell the rest? You're telling me it's a toiv, right? Not to do it. So why did you have to go through all the this thing and that thing? Why don't you just go ahead and do it? And for the Gemara, right? But it, it, since it was a toiv, because Ava, what, here's what you're worried about. This guy's married. What's he going to do? He's going to take some money. He's going to put it on the table and say, listen, your soup is here. Can I sell the property? Go, go try this at home this evening. Tell your wife, listen, you know, you have a ksuba wherever it is. Here's what I want to do. Whatever ksuba is worth, I'm going to do over here. And now I'm going to start selling. It's going to create tremendous tension in your house. Of course, your wife's going to think you want to get divorced. So that's the reason you don't do it. Because of Ava. But in other words, it's a takana of svarin sensitivity that you can't do it, but not a halachic din of, of what? Of holding on to something. Okay, uh, you had a question, Arye. What was your question? Why don't you try, well, try the way same age he gave for Kayin, why don't you just continue that through with Israel? Well, well, yeah, because, because the Kayin's age is not a good age, depending upon a woman's whims over here, it's much more carpet. I then go to the next. Okay. next in, other, in other words, there it doesn't depend upon her. You just divorce and you, and you can do what you do. Over there, it depends upon a woman. So by a, a, a kayin, you can't get divorced and take it back. By by the the the, the ishers is, is is the much better option. The kayin is the default option. It's not the chatchila option because it really doesn't work. Okay. Anyway. Let's continue. Ahu Gavra, there was this guy, the Nafule Yavama the Pumpadisa, that Yavama felt him in Pumpadisa. So Boy Achbe Lamifsala, the Gita Mina, his brother wanted to go ahead and pass away the get. Okay, let's, guys, let's go back to Yavamas for a while. Okay, let's go back to Yavamas. Why, 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 why do we see in Yavamas the following? The older brother is supposed to do Yibum. If one of the, any of the brothers gives her a get, then you can't do Yibu. Once it get, it passes. It maybe weakens the Zika that you can't do Yibu anymore. Good? So you had a situation. This actually happened. This brother was going to marry her, and he obviously was going to get the property of the dead brother. The one of the younger brothers wanted a piece of the action. So what happens if he would give her a get? That would say that what? That he won't be able to go ahead and, and do Yibu. And then the state would be divided equally throughout the brothers, not just the older brother. So this is a, uh, an Eben Ezra Dikadim with a Chayshim Mishpah Dikad application, right? So here you go. So this actually happened, guys. So there was this, there was this Yavama Pupadisa, that boy, his brother, wanted a parcel that would get by giving a get. So Amalei. So what did the brother say? My daitre, what's he das? Mishum nichsei, because I'm going to get the property. Anob nichsei palgin alach. You know what I'm going to do? Let me marry her. Let me even be having her. I'll get all the property and I'll divide it with you. Don't give her a get. Don't, don't stop me from doing Yibum. Go ahead and I'll do Yibum. And what? And I will go ahead and I'll divide it with you. So it's kind of a shtickle like he's selling the brother the property, right, guys? It's kind of like shtickle the deal he's making with the brother. So I'm Rabbi Yosef. Now we're going to have a big machloik is whether you could do what he did. Machloik is between Rabbi Yosef and Abaya. I'm Rabbi Yosef. Even the Amr Abanon, like Lisbon, uh, now, since the brother said you shouldn't sell the property of Yavam, again, it's Meshubah the Ksuba, guys, right? This, this, all, this is all Meshubah to pay off the Ksuba. Afa got the Zavin, like Havizvina. Even though he sells it, like Havizvina is It's not a good sale. The Tanya, Misha Mace, someone who dies, Veniach Shemeris Yavam, and he leaves over Shemeris Yavam, Veniach Nechasim, the Meyamana, 
and he leaves a chasm worth a hundred thousand dollars. Afa pishek ksuba ein elamana. Even if ksuba was only a thousand dollars, in other words, you have much more property left over that if you would sell to pay off the ksuba. La yimcha, do not sell the property. You know why? Shekol nechasa v'achroyin leksuba sa. So here's the Gemara's taina. This guy, by making a deal with his brother, is kind of selling the property to the brother. So says Rabbi Yosef, this is, this, and the guy doesn't get it. In other words, it's not a sale. He doesn't get it because, again, it's giving it to your brother is similar to selling it to somebody else. It was Meshubah the Ksuba. It wasn't yours to give away, and therefore you can do it. That's what Rabbi Yosef Pine is. Amalei Abaya, the Cholheicha, the Umra Abonon, and wherever the Abonon say, Loi Lisbon, the Abonon say you shouldn't sell, Afa gab the Zovin, even though they sold it, like have his Venus, Venus, not a good sale. In other words, the buyers disagree. He would say that even though it's Meshubah the Ksuba, in fact, if you would sell it, it would be a good sale. But Tanan, Beishamay Oymri, Beishamay says, in the case of an Arusa, right? Like a Timchar, that if it falls with stress, Arisin, you can sell it. That if you do do it, in other words, you shouldn't do it like Basilo, but if you do, but the evidence it works. So the same thing over here, you should not go ahead and sell the property, but if you do sell it, at least with the evidence it should work. So how Rabbi Yosef say that the Zvina loves Zvina, it's not a good sale. If you shouldn't do it. I agree, says Abai, you shouldn't do it. But if you do it, it should go through. It should be, be the ever good. So now, so we have a Rabbi Yosef on one side and the buyer on the other side. Rabbi Yosef saying it's not a good sale. We have a buyer saying it is a good sale. Now let's go through. The Gemara continues. Sholchua, they sent to Shiloh, Lekamei de Rav Kanina Bar Papi. Sholcha, he sent back to Rabbi Yosef that it's not a good sale. He agreed. Rav Papi, second thought, Rav Kanina Bar Papi. It's about like Rabbi Yosef. I'm Rabbi Yosef. Does he have kipi? Does he have some type of thing hanging from him? In other words, he's not Moira. If he's not going to bring a raya, why he's saying what he's saying, you know, God, you can say all you want. It's not, you're not bringing a Tana. You're bringing another opinion about Moira. It says, I'm an Moira. I can say what I want. Keep I mean, there's nothing hanging here. He's not telling me anything. He's just agreeing, Rabbi Yosef. I heard what Rabbi Yosef said. I brought the reason I disagree with Rabbi Yosef because Basilo says you shouldn't do it, but if you do it, the evidence good. And you're telling me you can't do it? So you agree with Rabbi Yosef, but why do you agree with Rabbi Yosef? That's his taina. All right, so now, the, 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 the adventure continues. Sholchu l'kamei de Rav Minyumi b'rei de Rav Nechumi. Sholchuk, and he sent back, Kedabaya, with the evidence, it's a good sale. The e am about Rabbi Yosef, taim achrina, however. He added the following. Rabbi Yumi had the following. If Rabbi Yosef comes up with a reason that what? That why it should not be a good sale, then Sholchali send it to me. Then send it to me. Okay? Nothing. Rabbi Yosef, Doc, Rabbi Yosef went out and he's going to find a reason why it's not a good sale. A guy has a, a loan against his brother. So his brother owns, owes, owes him a hundred bucks. The brother, the Milva, the one who lent him, he goes ahead right, and he dies. Umes, the Malva dies. So now the Loiva is inheriting the wife of the Malva and the Malva. Question is, you have to pay up the loan or not? Beniach Shemeres Yavam, Loyoma, you don't say, Hoyel Shani Yarshi Yarsh, right? Since I'm, I'm inheriting him, Hiksati, Elamoitsimi Yavam, Yikach Mihem Karka, Loyo Paris. We don't say that since I inherit him, so the loan is off. Elo what? Take the hundred dollars, buy field, and you eat Paris. You can take the hundred dollars, you can buy field, and you eat Paris. Now, how would this be a raya to what? To, to his din. So, madach, guys, listen to this. Madach, where the chasim of the brother, of the brother, what? Is bottle. The, what, what we, he's inheriting from the brother. And we, don't, we say that what? That the loan is not bought, though. We say he has to, we take it away. So my, certainly if you sell it to somebody else, we're going to stop it from going through. You know, what's, what is Reb Yosef Tushtel, what is Reb Yosef Tushtel to the Mechira not working? He wants to Tushtel the fact that the loan is not bought, though, right? If he gives the Nechsei Aviv to himself, in other words, the, it's going to himself. The Chacham said you have to take it away from him. So certainly if you would sell it to somebody else, you take it away from somebody else, right? 
One more time, one more time. Guys, why does Rabbi Yosef want to bring a riot too? That if the if the Yavam sells the property, it's not a good sale. You can view the Yavam inheriting the Yavama as what? As, as acquiring something. And he shouldn't have to go ahead what? and pay it off. Yet he has to. We view it as what? As this law, whatever it is, we view it as not his. He has to pay it off. He has to buy a field and get Paris. So certainly where it belongs to him, he can't keep it. Certainly when he sells it to somebody else, it can't be kept. That's, that's the two shtel. That's the two shtel. We're going to slug it up, but that's the two shtel. So one more time. So, no big tack. When I rabbi Yosef, the Ashka to Tanya, how he show you, Noisha the Achiv, he has a claim against his brother, who based on the brother dies, the mother dies, but near Shemeris Yavam, La Yama, you don't say, Hoyle Vishani Yorish, Hiksakti, that I can hold on to the loan, I'm Maxit the loan, Elamoitsimi Yavam, you take from the Yavam, you take the hundred from him, the Yigach Ben Karka, who I hope Harris. So, what's the two shell again? If we're going to take it away from something in here, inherits, certainly you can't sell it. Only a buyer, Dilma, the Tub, the the Tubble, uh, Maybe he's giving him about a piece of real estate. Maybe you did him a taiva. In other words, you told him, take the money, put it in real estate. Really, you could have kept the money. We told him to put it in real estate. Amalei, the Rabbi Yosef told the buyer, Tana Tani might see him. The Tana lose the Lushan might see him. We take it away from him. He had Amit the Tavale of the lay. It's Aitz a taiva. Might see him means Alpi Allah would take it away. It's not an Aitz a taiva. In other words, you have what you can. No one's going to tell you to take away money and put it in the stock market. You might see and you take it out. You, you don't might see and you, that's you. You you make you 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 blow it. You blow it. But it's a type is it's a type of. But might see and means we we you don't own it. So the chayre Rabbi Yisuf wants to say my raya is a good raya. How the shol who came the Rebbe Minyumi the Rebbe Nachuni they sent this case of the sale of the the case not of the sale of the loan in front of of. Uh, of Rab Minyumi, the son of Rab Nechumi, saying that, try saying that quickly a few times. I'm only hoping I'm Rabbi Yisrael, Rab Minyumi, I'm a Rab Nachman. It's new in a Mishnah that this what we just said. This case, this is not. This is not. It's not learned. In other words, it's a, it's a corrupt brisa. You can't bring any raya from this case. This case that you just mentioned is a Mishnah. It's, it's not a Mishnah. It's, it's absolutely you no. Know, it's not learned. It wasn't learned in the base medrash. It doesn't mean Mishnah here, doesn't mean Mishnah. It wasn't learned in the base medrash, and therefore you can't be Samech upon it. You can't be Samech upon this case of the loan. My timer, why can't you be Samech upon this? Why not? If you're going to tell me, of course, the money was Metatlin, and money is not Meshub at the Ksuba, and therefore what? You, therefore, you, you, couldn't, you don't have to buy something and, and, and sell something because it wasn't Meshub. Dilma Kerebmeya, Srile, made the whole uh, maybe the Bryce goes like Ramey the Omar, the Tatli Mishabdi Luxuba. He's of the opinion that Tatli is Mishabdi Luxuba. Good. So, therefore, that's not a reason to say it's not a Mishnah. That's the reason that it's not learned in the base Medrash. Ella, here's another reason. Mishum the Omar Le, at Lav Valdevarm de Diat. He says to her, the Yavim says, go not my Maldover. In other words, my Baldover is, 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 uh, is your brother, and your brother's dead. So, so therefore, maybe that's the reason it's not a Mishnah. One second, that's not a good reason why. Dilma Reb Nassin, he guys, what's Reb Nassin? If A owes B and B O C, then C O is Jose, right? Guys, we did that many times. If A owes B and B O C, then then C can collect from A. Maybe so. The same thing over here. This would be case of case Reb Nassin, right? That one brother's the other will let the girl collect. Says the Gemara. The Tanya Reb Nassin, I mean, I know she be chaver money. If you owe your friend the money, be chaver be chaver, and he owes a friend. How do you know? A, uh, how do you know? A can collect from C. It says the one you. It says the one that the Karen belongs to. It doesn't say the one you owe. It says the one The one that's the Karen. So therefore, why do you say in a Mishnah? Either guys, watch. Look, it, this could be a Mishnah. A we hold like Reb Meir that Metalton is Meshubit. So this hundred dollars is Meshubit. Whatever the amount of the loan is Meshubit, and B. He can't tie into that you're not my Dal Bal Dava because Reb Nassin. So we combine those two reasons, one Reb Nassin and two Reb Nassin, Reb, Reb Meya and Reb Nassin, and you find those two dinim, then L'chaira, this could be learned that in this case, that what? You have to sell, sell it and buy Karka, and he can't, and therefore L'chaira, Reb Yosef would have a good raya, not like a baya. So God, to work, you need two chumras. You need both Reb Meya and Reb Nassin. If you only have Reb Meir, you have Reb Nassim's Kasha. 
If you only have Reb Nassim, you have Reb Meir's kasha. When you need to come out to two chumras, then you don't. Then it's in a mishnah. That's what the Gemara answers. It says the Gemara. Ela loy ashkin tana de machmir tre chum. You don't find any tana that is machmir two chumras over here. Ksuba ela ikra Reb Meir ikra Reb Nassim. Either either one, but not both. Amravim kain. If that's the reason, hein the shaminu le labaya. That I, I heard Abaya say the Amar zui in a mishnah lo yadana myhi. But Abaya said this is not. This case is not learned in based Medrash, but I didn't know why. Now I know why, because you had to come on to two times. I'm not saying every Okay. The Yitz says, Mashmala, the Halach is like a buyer in this, this situation where you, can, you can't sell it, but if you do, it's a good sale. Okay. Best Hashem, tomorrow, I don't know what time. We'll, we'll keep, keep you posted. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck to everybody.